Hi, I'm Cheryl with Distressed FX, and today I wanted to go over some of our new features. I'm mainly going to be focusing on masking in this particular demonstration. First, I'm going to show you that we've come up with a couple new really neat texture packs. On the bottom in the far right corner is a little suitcase if you click switch pack. That will take you to our pack picker where it has all of our add-on packs. And the latest is um, Splat and Painter's Palette, and they're both very um, heavily painterly oriented. Lots of little splatters and texture peeking through. I'll take you over and show you Painter's Palette. Again, just uh, very painterly. Uh, this particular pack, Painter's Palette, has some, some little hidden words and cracks, and it's just a really good versatile pack. You can also change the overlay settings from multiply, overlay, hard light, and soft light. Soft light's really nice if you just want a little subtle texture um, difference. I'm gonna go ahead and come over here to this particular texture, Aroha, and I'm gonna show you the feature that we're super excited about, masking. Since the inception of Distressed FX, we've been asked so many times to have masking which is basically the ability to erase away bits of a texture why is that useful well you may want a subject to pop out a little bit more than the background you don't want the main subject hidden by texture things like that as an artist using the app myself this has been something that i've just been wanting for the longest time and i'm just so excited that it's here if you look at the middle row, you'll see a water droplet, which is a blur function. And next to that is a little eraser tip. I'm going to hit that. So this is the masking editing area. There's a little finger and a little box and an eye with a line drawn through it. The finger, the second finger, is where you can take your fingertip and place it on the screen and erase away bits of texture. There's two different slider bars. One controls the width of the paintbrush that you're using, well, your finger, and the other one is controls the opacity of how much you take away. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you right now what this looks like open full. So I'm just going to take my finger and just randomly just erase part of the texture away. Then I'm going to hit the trash can because I want to be able to show you what does it look like dialed down. So I'm going to lower the brush to make it smaller, and I'm just going to come in and take away a little bit of the texture off the barn. I want that wood to still show through. I can even take a little off the top of the, the roof to keep that intact. And mainly what I want is to be able to have those the texture in the sky and a little bit of the background, but keep the main subject popped out. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the brush up a little bit and take some off the grass because I want that grass to peek through a little bit and have that green still there. All right, I'm gonna hit the check mark. At this point, I'm gonna flatten the image. That way I can add other layers on top of it. So I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna press and hold and hit flatten. Over to the far right are more editing controls. So I'm gonna pop that up and then the center is opacity, or excuse me, saturation. I'm going to bump up the saturation just a little bit. The far right is contrast. I'm going to have my contrast right about there. And then the left is brightness. So I'm going to keep it right about where it was. And at the top is sharpening, which you have to be really careful with this because you could just blow this out in a second and it make it just maximum HDR, which that's not the look that I'm going for here. So I'm just gonna bump up the sharpening just a tiny bit. I'm gonna press and hold so I can add another layer. This time, I'm gonna show you something under the, bo the birds menu. So I'm gonna click the birds. Ta-da, we have snowbirds. These are basically seagulls, snow geese, peace doves, and um, again, we're super excited about these. There's definitely a place for snowbirds in our app. And let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and pick seven flyers. You can take your finger, you can move them around, you can make them smaller, which I'm gonna do because I think it's really important when editing to keep things realistic. You don't want these giant pterodactyl birds that are 
not in perspective with your structure or anything else like that. It just ends up being just kind of, I don't know, does it just doesn't look realistic. And I really think it's important to keep things looking realistic. I'm going to switch out and go to um, the actual snowbirds, kind of tone that down just a little bit. And then I'm going to come in and use the slider that lightens them. Because again, let's keep this realistic. Birds are kind of off in the distance, so by using this slider, I'm just going to fade them out a little bit. And then I'm done, and I could press and flatten it. I could add more, or I could be finished. And right now, I think I'm going to be happy with that image. Up in the top right corner is a square little box with an up arrow. I'm going to press that and save it. Here, it's going to ask you, do you want to share it on Instagram? Sure, why not? So I'm going to go ahead and I would hit share on Instagram, but I'm not going to do it at this point just for the sake of the video. But tell you, I try to look at every single picture that is hashtagged distressed FX and other people look at it too. It's a way to get your artwork noticed, a way to be a part of a community. And if we see something we like, we'll feature your image both on Instagram and Facebook. So go ahead and sh hit the share button and make sure you follow us on Instagram, uh, distressed FX app account. You can follow my account, which is Blackbird Chaser, where I have art that is um, created on the app. And that is it for today. I'm going to be making a couple other videos, one showing you um, how to use the new features on the original app, Distressed FX, and just to focus a little bit more on some of the editing features that we have. So thank you very much for stopping by and be sure to subscribe to our channel for future videos. Thanks.